Megan's friend Kelly opens up about bonding with Cool at Beyoncé Consort. The Destiny's child Alan spoke to the Duchess of Sussex plus rare details about her sons Titan and Noah and updates on Beyoncé. Legends only. As previously reported, Meghan Markle celebrated Labor Day at the Sophie Stadium in Los Angeles. Taking in Beyoncé's Renaissance World Tour concert on the 4th of September with some very famous seatmates. Kerry Washington and Kelly Rowland, with dazzling pics of the trio to prove it. For Kelly's part, the singer and actress was impressed by the Duchess of Sussex, she told at a water wipes event in Brooklyn on Saturday. It was my first time meeting her, the Destiny's child Alam said. It was just nice being there with other great women and being able to just simply talk. It turns out Kelly and Meghan and Kerry have more in common than a love of Beyoncé. All three women have spent a considerable amount of time in the public eye, and are married moms to two young kids each. I don't know what people expect to see or to know, but she just felt very cool and very down to earth. She is very warm, the motivation singer enthused. And added that Meghan had a regal bearing independent of her very famous husband and in-laws. She was royal before she was in that family, she told I think that we are royalty before anything. And we have to hold ourselves in that regard as humans, as people. As for fellow Queen Beyoncé, Kelly added that her lifelong best friend's decompression time. After the end of the Renaissance tour trek has been quiet. We're all just enjoying our time chilling out, chilling out, she said. Kelly, however, is definitely not chilling out, she's rehearsing for a tour in Australia in November. And prepping for Halloween with Titan, and Noah, her sons with husband Tim Weatherspoon. She and little Noah got into the spooky season spirit at Saturday's Brooklyn Harvest Festival. Where mother and son, dressed as an astronaut, demonstrated water wipes a Loclean machine. Which will dispense free wipes on Halloween in Dallas, Denver, Chicago, Los Angeles and New York City. Oh, we love Halloween in our house. The commander singer said. Double quote. I usually put so much energy into Halloween Titan wants to be Lebron James and Noah wants to be a dog. Kelly has her own Halloween memories she her old dear. When she and her mom moved to Houston, Texas when she was around 9 years old, I didn't know what to expect of Houston. And I said I wanted to be a cowgirl. I had this whole little denim skirt and my little red bandana pigtails and a cute little cowboy hat. And I just remember it feeling like home for the first time since we'd moved away from Atlanta. It was a very warm feeling. These days, Kelly is the mum, and embraces the chaos of being the only woman in a household of boys. My husband is very tidy, she explained he's the person that actually folds his clothes really neatly. He actually worked in retail. So he was super particular about that. But our boys, on the other hand, she said, laughing. They forget about, flushing the toilet behind them. All the things boys do. Noah got so upset the other morning. Because everybody was leaving out at one time, he takes the plate and flips it over, creates this huge mess. But Kelly put her foot down. Because he's old enough, we start to have him clean it up because he knows better. I don't want to have a messy kid. Because, Kelly reasons, a messy kid means a messy adult. So when they're dating somebody later they're like, Oh my god. Thanks for this messy person. I got, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want them phone calls, so I want the opposite. As for whether her boys will take after their mom and become entertainers. And perhaps join her on stage as her goddaughter Blue Ivy has done with mom Beyonce that's still up in the air. If they wanted to. Titan is really into singing in the choir right now at the school and that is cool. Kelly said. Whatever that grows into or if it grows at all. That's fine, we'll see. It was my first time meeting her. It was just nice being there with other great women and being able to just simply talk. The Destiny's child Alan told Hello over the weekend at a water wipes event in Brooklyn. I don't know what people expect to see or to know, but she just felt very cool. And very down to earth. She is very warm, Rowland continued. The Duchess of Sussex previously shared that she is a Beyonce fan, citing Cosit. As her favorite song from the Renaissance album in her Variety cover interview in October 2022. She also shared a warm text from Beyoncé in The Accuser is Harry and Meghan, which debuted on Netflix last December. In a scene from Volume 2, 
Meghan said she was touched when the music superstar reached out the day. After her and Prince Harry's interview with Oprah Winfrey aired in March 2021, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex worked side by side in their sunny home office in Montecito, California. When Meghan said, the yard's age just texted as Prince Harry theatrically gasped. Just checking in, Meghan said with a smile reading the message. I still can't believe she knows who I am. Go and call her, Harry suggested. No, it's okay, his wife replied. She said she wants me to feel safe and protected. She admires and respects my bravery and vulnerability and thinks I was selected to break generational curses that need to be healed. That's well said, Prince Harry said. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.